The Phantom 3 standard is an all-in-one quadcopter because it is a four-rotor aircraft. Here are the four motors, M1, M2, M3, and M4. Front right, front left, rear left, and rear right. Please make sure you read the warning labels on each motor before removing them. These are the red pre-installed front stickers on the front arms, which indicate the aircraft's orientation. The red stickers are on the nose, or front, of the aircraft. These are your front LEDs, which light up red when the motors are spinning, and also tell you the aircraft's orientation. These are your rear LEDs, which display different colors when the aircraft is powered on. They tell you the aircraft's status when it is powered on and during flight. This is your landing gear. It protects your gimbal and camera when you land. And here is your gimbal. This is a three-axis gimbal. It stabilizes the camera and lets you tilt it up and down. This is the camera. It's capable of capturing up to 2.7K video and 12 megapixel photos. Your camera micro SD card slot is here. Your Phantom 3 standard comes with an 8 gig micro SD card installed. Your photos and videos are stored on this. Your Phantom 3 standard supports micro SD cards up to 64 gigs. The camera micro USB port is here. To download your photos and videos to your computer from your micro SD card, connect the included cable from the micro USB port to your computer. Your vibration dampeners help to reduce vibrations so your photos aren't shaky and your videos are smooth. This is the anti-drop kit. It holds the gimbal and the camera securely in place. And this is the intelligent flight battery. Let's remove it and set it aside for now. To remove the battery, squeeze the tabs on the top and on the bottom and pull it out slowly. Now your antennas. The aircraft's antennas are built into the front legs of the aircraft for optimal transmission. Your compass. The aircraft's compass is built into the rear right leg of the aircraft. Now please note that the compass is a sensitive piece of equipment and that you should not bring it too close to magnetic or ferromagnetic materials such as cellular phones, keys, or large metal objects. This is the Intelligent Flight Battery. It is designed to provide up to 25 minutes of uninterrupted flight time when fully charged. The 4,480 milliamp hours DJI Intelligent Flight Battery features upgraded battery cells and an advanced power management system. To prolong the battery's life, we recommend that you don't keep the battery fully charged if you do not plan on flying your Phantom 3 standard for an extended period of time. Before you start flying, read and remove this label. This is the power button. Press the power button once to check the battery level. The current battery level will be displayed on the four LEDs on the front of the Intelligent Flight battery. Press the power button once then press again and hold for two seconds to turn the battery on. Once, again and hold. Press the power button once and then press it again and hold for two seconds to turn the battery off. 
These are the main features of the intelligent flight battery. You can slide the power switch on the remote controller to the right to turn it on and check the battery level of the remote controller. Be sure to fully charge both the intelligent flight battery and the remote controller battery before your first flight. It is recommended that you turn off the intelligent flight battery and the remote controller before charging them. To charge the intelligent flight battery, just flip up the cover on the charger's cable, just like this. Then insert the prongs into the matching slots on the battery. Then connect the charger to a power source. The battery level indicators will blink green to indicate that charging is in process. Charge the remote controller using the provided micro USB cable. You can use your own USB charger with the included USB charging cable. When charging is complete, the status LED will change from red to green. Now let's take a look at the accessories box. All right, in this bag, you'll find your wrench. Use this to remove your propellers if they're too tight. You'll also find a spare set of landing pads, which go on the bottom of your landing gear in case you lose them. Also included are spare vibration dampeners and spare anti-drop kit. Now let's take a look at the propellers. There are two sets of four propellers. Let's take a look at one of the sets. Each set comes with two black indicated propellers for clockwise rotation and two silver indicated propellers for counterclockwise rotation. We'll go over how to install these in a pre-flight video. Let's take a look at the literature. There are three items in the literature pack. We have safety guidelines and disclaimer, quick start guide, and in the box. For the user manual, please visit our website, www.dji.com, and please read all of these documents before you fly. In our next video, we'll be going over a pre-flight checklist and everything you need to know before you fly. Thanks for watching.